Hi, I'm Bruce and just over a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week I don't get any of my to-do list done as the horses seem to want to keep me busy, escaping on what feels like a minutely basis. <sighs> These horses, man. <laughs> to top it off, I'm without my Annie. If you're new here, why not click the subscribe button and become part of our ever-growing community. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all well. Um, so I feel like progress on the house is going a little bit slow, and that is because I'm not filming everything that goes on, um, but the animals take a lot of time, and we're running very low on grazing, so we're kind of feeding haylage and all that kind of thing. And uh, so today, actually, I need to take up my temporary paddock out the back of the house and uh, move the horses again. Uh, we put them into the neighbour's field, but I guess you guys out there that have had horses for a long time will know that they skin that field in no time. So that's what we're doing now. And then what are we doing now? Keeping the dream alive. <laughs> <laughs> what are we actually doing? Um, <laughs> we've got a list, haven't we? We've got to empty the roof of rubbish. Oh yeah, okay. So anyway, then we'll be back up in the loft, clearing the rubbish and chipping away at that. It's actually breaking me a little bit because I'm used to kind of tearing into jobs and just getting them done. So I'm having to learn a bit of patience here and learning to spread myself a little bit thinly. So let's go. Well done for using your head. <laughs> oh. Pinch. Right, let's go and see where we're going to put these poles. Okay. Be, mate. Come on, GB. Are you going to ever come out with any merch? Maybe, I, can make I thought merch after, after crochet after a Bruce doll. Oh, that'll be well for you. you can make an after a Bruce doll. One okay. in stock, one of a kind. Buy it now or never. You could sell a high vis jacket. <laughs> I could sell a high vis jacket. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, we've run out of tape now, so uh, the rest of it is in uh, my neighbour's field. So we've just kind of cordoned off a little bit, opened the bale of haylage, which they're going to absolutely love. Uh, so we can bring them down, get the tape out of that field and finish taping it all off. So uh, I'm going to hand you over to my glamorous assistant, Elsie Neal, camera woman. There you go, love. All I want in this whole life, a little red house in a country wire, a picnic table out on the lawn, a couple of kids and a couple of dogs, work all day to half past five, a chain link fence and a gravel drive, wind chime ringing on my front porch, a brand new carpet on every floor, and a rope swing tied around the limb of a tall oak. Right, there we go, that's enough for now. I've got to go and uh, take the kids off to their skating. So I'll finish tying off that paddock full length uh, tomorrow. And then once I've done that, get back on with the house. So i see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I'm feeling a bit rough this morning. I think I'm coming down with something. First time in quite a while. Anyway, I woke up this morning to two horses just walking past the yurt window. Been down to the paddock, I don't even know how they've got out because the fence is still completely intact. <sighs> These horses, man. <laughs> anyway, Annie's feeding the pigs at the moment um, just because they do freak the horses out and if they don't get fed in the morning they make all sorts of noise, as you know. So uh, hopefully they'll be nice and quiet now and me and Annie can lead them back to the paddock and figure this thing out. Okay. Look at all his hair on the... I know, I think he must have had a roll. It doesn't roll into the air. Yeah, that would have worked in the shop. Yeah. I actually heard them last night and thought they sounded close. Really? Just a little like... Monkeys. 
Right, they are back in for now. Left the head collars on <laughs> just to save a job if they get back out again. Uh, I'm gonna go and have a cup of coffee with the lovely Annie and then uh, make some fine adjustments to these fences. I think. I don't know. I need to wake up. <laughs> One thing that's worth getting very excited about is, look at this, bluebells. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Not a lot of grass left here for you, is there? I didn't know what to bloody do with it anyway. They ate a whole lot I gave them yesterday. Did they? Maybe they're waiting for extra treats. <laughs> Yeah, you're up a bit. Mm-hmm. You're still being miserable. Oh. Right, that's a bit better now. I'm starting to feel a little bit more human. So uh, Betsy's just heading into the cow shed, get some brushes so she can give the horses a brush whilst me and Annie fortify the uh, paddock so they don't keep escaping. <laughs> No, we can sort it out. It must just be a bit of turf, I reckon. What's the curry came for? I'm getting dressed. wonder if it's in the... in my shed. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> oh, you're recording now. <laughs> Better see the camera, woman. Need your brushes. Right, you might notice that it is dark outside. I put the camera down when we went to go and find the horses for the third time out of where we put them um, so we put them back to where they were and so far they're staying put and he's going back for a part four of your course is it? I think technically it's part three but it's the fourth time I've been yeah and he's off for the fourth time for her course in eco psychology the kids are lying on the sofa with the doggy wugs <laughs> Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow after we've dropped Annie off at the bus station. Twig, silly <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I went down this morning, checked the horses. They're still there. Thank God. I'm rushing around this morning, getting all the other jobs done. Now I've got to take Annie to the bus station so she can make her way to the airport. That'll just be me and the kids over the weekend. So, not sure how this vlog's going to turn out until I get it into the editing stage. Chasing horses and dropping Annie off, but hey, I can't always be getting loads done. Or can I? I don't know. Let's go anyway. No! How are you feeling? Terrible. I've lost my passport. Lucky you have two passports. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mum. Right, we've dropped Annie off. It's just us three. The three amigos. So, I'm going to get some grub and then I've got to go and get a few bits. I've got to get some cable for the loft because before I actually put insulation up I need to run all new wire for the lighting and for the sockets and I need to get some pads for Annie's car. <laughs> I've got to get loads of things. Is that vlog worthy? Probably not, but it's what's happening right now. Should we get some food then, Lumps? Yeah. Okie dokie. What are you doing? I don't know. I spelled my drink. Say it louder and again. No. She spilled her drink. Well, but she is bound to spill if you're doing that. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it is. It doesn't spill because it has a lid This week's video is sponsored by Innocent Smoothies. Just kidding, it's not. 
already bought that iron thing too. <laughs> God, that's expensive. How much was it? I spent 254 crowns. What? Yeah, that's a lot of cable. Daddy's scrolling. I'm not scrolling. You can call it red handed. Where are we heading next, Dad? We're going to get a screw fix, mate. Have you zoomed out? <laughs> yeah. Right, we're going to screw fix to get some black plastic for the garden and some cable clips and was there something else we needed from screw fix as well? And we're going to go to Euro car parts and get some car parts. That's Something the only thing to add? And then we're going to the sweet shop. Stop recording me. Eh? Hey off go Bruce. Like and subscribe. Huh? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Sorry. Wow, this is heavy old stuff. Mm. What is it? That Plastic? Is... Yeah, big roll of plastic. We're going, are we? Mm -hmm. Are we live? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we finished getting everything we need in town, and uh, now's the time where the kids go off to stage school. Betsy's not feeling 100% so she's going to chill out with me whilst I'm doing a bit of my edit. And uh, those of you might have actually seen uh, Elsie's singing and that was her submission for the stage school Christmas competition. And she won. She came first so very proud. Um, so I think we'll leave it here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, thanks for uh, bearing with me during this vlog of randomness. Um, I mentioned on my Patreon that I, I've got a kind of busy first half of the week at the moment that I don't um, spend filming at the moment so I only get like a few days on the vlog at the moment um, and this week has been me chasing horses around like a madman and uh, going into town which is obviously not my usual vlog style. But hopefully next week, now all the animals are contained and where they should be, I can get back on with the house. I'm just currently uh, playing chef at the moment, trying to cook the kids a roast dinner. So I'm going to leave it here. And if you've made it all the way to here, then I'm assuming you've enjoyed the video, in which case, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it would be great if you could subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Yeah.